Rob, what do we got up first? Let's see what we got, John, from Edison. Edison says, hi, guys. While I'm still sitting here waiting for something to come out of Tarantino doing a Star Trek movie, I'll take this. <laughs> News is out that Quentin Tarantino is going to do his first TV series. The only thing I can find is that it's going to be an eight-episode limited series that will come out really soon, like early 2023. What have you guys heard about this, and are you excited for a Quentin Tarantino TV show? All right, well, I mean, the first thing that came to my mind when I heard about this was, does this count? As his 10th project. Remember, Quentin Tarantino said he's going to do one more. He's going to do 10 movies and he's going to retire. By the way, I don't believe him. I think he means it, but there's no way he's going to stop after 10. <laughs> like Steven Soderbergh retired to paint. Yeah. At some point, an idea is going to hit him three or four years down the line. He's going to go, oh, I got to make this. But at any rate, but don't worry. This TV series will not count as that because he said a movie is something that plays in theaters. So this this wouldn't count, according to Quentin Tarantino, as his 10th. But yes, it sounds like Quentin Tarantino, who has directed some episodes of television, like he directed an episode of ER back and in the day. And Alias. And that's right, yeah, that's he right. He did an Alias So, episode. I mean, you go back then, but this would be his first show that he's actually kind of taking the reins on. This comes to us from the folks over at IndieWire who write the following. Quentin Tarantino may be eyeing his final film, but also his first TV show. The Oscar-winning Pulp Fiction Artur is confirmed to be helming an upcoming eight-episode limited series. Tarantino broke the news during his cinema speculation book tour in New York City while in discussion with Elvis Mitchell, whose documentary, Am I Black Enough for You, premiered on Netflix earlier this year. Tarantino series will premiere, this is the part that caught me, will premiere in early 2023? It, that can't be right. I, I mean, that's that's. So wait a minute. You not only got this together, decided to do it, wrote it, but that means this thing has to either, if not already been shot, it has to be in the midst of shooting right now. So I don't know if that was a misprint on their part about 2023, 2024, but let's put that aside for a second. Rob, how do you feel about, how do you think somebody like a Quentin Tarantino could transition into doing a TV series? What do you think? Uh, I think uh, he could absolutely do it. I mean, you, you, we saw Soderbergh do it with, like, the Nick. You know, there's been others, other directors who've come in and done shows. I think he could absolutely do it. I mean, you know, Tarantino uh, married an Israeli woman, and he's been living in Israel. Maybe he shot something in Israel we don't know about. Huh? You know, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, I could definitely see him doing something. But early 2023, <laughs> I mean, uh, agents and managers, actors would have definitely talked about this. It would have been on deadline. There's been nothing about this show but i think he could whatever he does whatever he would do i mean i you know what i think that he would like about it because you know he talked about doing that like a western show the show that they were making inside once upon a time in hollywood yeah the rick I remember, dalton yep. western show yep. maybe, maybe they happened. did that maybe maybe he did it i mean i don't know but i could see that he probably would love the speed of it like making something quick and dirty and fun i could see him totally doing something what like was that. the name of the show in in uh oh it was a um, time in hollywood the name of something Rick's law show. something gun law, law or say, yeah something, something like, like that yeah gun like taylor if you can look that up what's called hard law the, or yeah in the, in the bounty, bounty law, law. Bo bounty bounty law. law uh shout out to dat boy in the live chat so bounty law yes i like that that or fire crotch law one of the two they both work but anyway <laughs> Sorry so about that, life. i mean that could be one of them i'll tell you what i never would have thought of this but I think it's a brilliant idea. I did too. When I think of the way he tells stories, they make great movies. I think that style he has would very well transition into a TV style oh, of series. I totally. think that would be great, especially as like a limited edition or a limited, a limited series. And he could probably put together, like maybe he did do this in secret because I could imagine like he'd call Sam Jackson and go, look, don't tell anybody. Okay. Well, and look, Sam Jackson would not tell anybody. What, look back at his buddy Robert Rodriguez. Didn't Rodriguez like sh even shoot most of Sin City like in his garage? Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, I mean, it's studio, uh, uh, Troublemaker Studios. Like, what? What? Why couldn't he take a cue from his buddy and maybe have just like literally done something like, "Hey, I set up like a." Uh, a five car garage in my backyard here in Israel. We're gonna shoot something all in green screen. Well, he's got know. a house in the hills too. Just yeah, he shoot got, it yeah. there. You know, like when when uh, wasn't it Joss Whedon who did much ado about nothing? Yeah, like shoot it like at his house. 
you know, and he brought, hey, could you guys come to my house? We're going to shoot this movie, the Shakespeare adaptation. People are like, sure. And didn't Soderbergh shoot that one movie all on an iPhone? Which which movie was no, that? Oh, again? yeah, Unsane. And that's right. Actually, he shot Unsane and he shot High Flying Bird on iPhone. So, like, maybe he's like literally just was going around shooting a, shooting a show with his iPhone and nobody <laughs> he knew calls what I get. Up, He calls up uh, uh, Robert Richardson. Robbie Richardson's like, hey, <laughs> duh, buddy, can you just come to my house and shoot this for me? Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? The idea of Quentin Tarantino now doing an eight episode limited series for TV. I, I mean, if the report is right, and it's coming out in a few months. I, that means it's got to be shot. Uh -huh. Maybe it's a typo in the mid 2024, but whatever you guys think about this, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. The holidays are officially upon us and it's time to start celebrating. Do your thing and holiday your way with Me Undies because it's the most wonderful time of the year to try Me Undies because they're currently offering a very merry deal. Get 20% off your first purchase with free standard shipping and free returns when you go to MeUndies.com slash Campia. Guys, you know I've been wearing Me Undies for a while now because I used to be like everybody else. I would go to the big store, buy the biggest box of the most generic underwear and I thought that was good enough. But ever since I started Me Undies, and started wearing the most comfortable underwear I have ever worn in my life. I swear on this Christmas season, I will never go back. So get your holiday shopping finished early and start making time for yourself with the new MeUndies Holiday Collection. Their undies, long underwear, and sleepwear are made out of the softest, most supple fabric you've ever felt and are guaranteed to bring you comfort and joy to all of your loved ones. Shop their classic plaid prints for a traditional, picture-perfect style or get festive with their adventurous limited edition sweater prints. Available in sizes extra small all the way through 4XL, MeUndies has what you need to make all of your favorite people smile this holiday season all in one convenient place. So to get 20% off your first order, free shipping, and a 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com slash Campia.